All right, so the last piece I'm looking at is the train track. I'm gonna click plus, click create part studio. Again, right click on it and rename it to say track. Now, there's a lot going on in the blueprint here. Our primary start point is gonna be this lower right corner right here. All right, I'm gonna recreate this shape. To do that, I'm gonna do a new sketch on my front. Create a rectangle. The width of the rectangle is 3.4. The height of this rectangle is one inch. Then we've got two slots that run down the track. So I'm gonna do a rectangle up here and a rectangle over here. I'm gonna come back and dimension them. It looks like the, the height or the depth there is 0.1875, so from here to here, 0.1875, from here to here, 0.1875, right, and now to center it, from my left side to this edge is 0.4, left side to this edge is 0.75, Right, so that's one side. Now on the other side, left side to this inside edge is 2.65. Left side to that remaining edge is three inches. All right, all my lines are black, I'm ready to extrude. Finish sketch, go to my isometric view. I'm going to extrude this basic shape a distance of 12 inches. All right, so we've got the track. Um, now I need to include the connection pieces. I'll start with this piece on the end. Again, on the right side of the blueprint, uh, there's a better illustration of what we're looking at. So I'm gonna do a new sketch from my top. I'm going to arrange mine so that it's easier to see. All right, so I've got a circle that's right in about here. Size of the circle, it says radius uh, 0.7, which would mean a 1.4 diameter. Uh, the distance from my center point to the edge of my track is one inch, so I'm placing a dimension from here here all right so I've got the the one inch location then I'm going to place this 1.7 so from this edge to here 1.7 and that aligns it all right so once I've got those two locations I'm going to work on this 0.6 uh, to do that I'm just simply going to place a dimension or draw a line that goes from here to here, just randomly drawn. Another one on the right side, again, just randomly drawn, making sure that they are connecting so that you get this gray bound object. Then I'll come back with a dimension and place a dimension that goes from this edge to the center of my circle. We need 0.6, so each side is gonna be 0.3, right? Center point to this edge. 3 that centers it now I can come back with my trim trim out what I don't need hit finish sketch go to my isometric view I'm going to extrude this piece now it's gonna go the other direction making sure to add it it's gonna be part of this entire part um, and I'm gonna leave it at one inch because that's the height of my original track all right I'm going to switch over to the other end, do a new sketch on top. We've got a circle somewhere in here. The size of that circle is radius 0.75, which means that my diameter is going to be 1.5.
the distance from the edge to the center is one inch. So from my edge to my center, I have again a line that's going to go up and connect and another line on the right side that's going to go up and connect. Place a dimension. Um, this thickness here is 0.65, right? So from here to here, I need half of that. So I can do 0.65 and simply divide it by two and that moves it over. And I need the same thing on the other side. 0.65 divided by two. All right, the last dimension I need is to center my circle. It's 1.7, so I'm gonna go from my left side to my center, 1.7, and now it's aligned. All right, I'm gonna worry about these radiuses uh, in the 3D side. So I finish sketch. You'll notice that uh, this hole or this opening is a little bit larger than the actual peg, right? We need to allow for some tolerances, some a little bit of wiggle room. Next up, I'll click extrude. Click my parts. I'm going to click remove. Make sure that it goes the full inch. All right, so I've got my overall part done. Uh, the last step is to add in all these radiuses. So it says radius 0.19 times four, right? So that means that I'm gonna do these two inside edges and these two outside edges. I click on fillet. My fillet again is 0.19. Come in and I'm gonna click on those parts. So they have this edge and this edge, as well as this edge and this edge. All right, so these two kind of inside edges and these two inside edges. My check, and there's my track. 